I love you. I love you. Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a good walk in the park of social media. I am about to head to school. I have things that I expect to happen that are scheduled, but I know from experience that what is unscheduled usually becomes the main event. as a result of me misplacing my mother's keys. And I became so afraid because I really didn't want my mother to become upset with me because I lost her keys and now there would be just be a domino effect of unwanted results. And then we both realized that we assumed that the keys were missing, but this entire time the keys were placed in clear sight. They were in clear sight, but we thought or assumed that they were missing. I don't know, man. Life has been serious. Just like I didn't realize the keys this morning, I didn't realize that people would notice the ash that's on my hand, therefore I didn't feel that it was necessary for me to put on lotion. Guys, if you walked outside, would you assume that people wouldn't see that? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think, see that. But, but, man, I'm telling you. To realize is to be aware, and to know is to be aware. What do we know? We know knowledge. Therefore, in order to truly know something, you must realize it first. You can endure an entire lesson of knowledge, but if you don't realize anything that is being taught, you won't understand or know a lick of the content that was being taught. So one who is aware doesn't assume, but one who is unaware assumes. Assumptions are blindfolds. They, uh, they convince you that you know something that you don't know. Why is it that we can endure life but not know what life is? Because you are assuming, making the assumptions in regards to what life is. As a result, you're being blindfolded by life. When we sleep and rest at night, we assume that we are in real life. But in reality, we are dreaming. That's why we never become aware when we're sleeping unless you become conscious. I lead with my mind. I see things with my mind because my mind shows me things that my eyes are unable to show me. What is the meaning of love? There is nothing more important than love. That's the sole reason why we are here, to love and to be loved. The time. When you put a plant into the ground, so you expect something from that plant. And we believe that the plants are our children. And when it's the time that it blossoms and gives the fruit, that's the time you graduate from school and from college. You have to give your fruit to your family. The clip that you, the audio that you just heard, was an audio from. Um, a group of people who are from um, Afghanistan and Syria. See, they're planting their child and raising them, so what they're really doing is loving them. And we typically have a, a sexual association with love. Love is not lust, love is caring for someone else and wanting what's best for somebody else. This is also displayed in relationships. When one enters a relationship, one is expected to love someone else. But typically, people who enter relationships love themselves, and which is which is manifested through them cheat, treating their partner as an object, and then trying to collect more objects to serve themselves. That's not really love. That's self-love, and that's hatred towards others. Do you love me? Love is when you want the best for somebody else. Do you want the best for me? So do you love me? You know what the assumption is, and you know what the truth is. Why is it hard to accept? Is your answer an assumption that's hiding the truth? 
If you want to hear more of this every single day, this positive energy and these realizations, mind my videos and subscribe. I love you. If you hate me, I love you. If you love me, I love you. See you then.